You're welcome to another episode of Fertility Talk with Olarun Tadius. And on this week's topic, I will be discussing leotophis defects. Have you heard about that? If you find it very difficult to get pregnant, or maybe you've been having a series of miscarriages, then you might want to sit back and, you know, listen to this topic. Because it is possible that it has to do with something called leotophase defect. It is a condition that disrupts your menstrual cycle. Although there is a debate here and there whether it has to do with infertility. Of, of course, you know you have to see your doctor to, to be able to ascertain that. So let's talk about this leotophase defect. How does it occur? The leotophase defect happens at one stage in your menstrual cycle, you know, it occurs about after your ovulation period. That's when your ovary releases um, the egg and immediately before you, you start seeing your period. During this time, um, the lining of your uterus normally should get thicker to prepare for possible pregnancy. But if you have a little phase defect, the lining does not go properly, you know, and that can make it very difficult to become pregnant or even sustain pregnancy okay the little face defect is usually about it happens about 12 to 14 days in your cycle and during this time your ovaries make a hormone called progesterone you know what progesterone does is it, it enables your uterus to grow properly and when you get pregnant you know, it helps your your baby to to attach itself to or herself to 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 the ticking lining. So if you don't get pregnant, the lining eventually would would shed off, okay, and you will see your period. So when when you have a little phase defect, your ovaries don't release enough progesterone, and the lining of your uterus, you know, does not respond to the hormone. This condition has been linked to too many problems to include endometriosis, anorexia, and has been discovered in people that exercises too much. Also has something to do with high prolactin and, you know, when, when you start discharging milk in your breast, okay, obesity, um, polycystic ovarian syndrome, thyroid disorder, and many times, if you treat all those conditions, then, you know, you should be able to correct your later phase defects. So let's talk about the symptoms, okay? Let's talk about the symptoms that, you know, um, you would experience if you, you have later phase defects. Um, when you have a later phase defect, you may notice problems such as more frequent period so you begin to see your period more frequently like two times three times within a month then miscarriages then if you if you have problem getting pregnant yes it could just be that you have a little phase defect then spotting between the uh, period okay you just be spotting between your period and you know if you experience any of these then of course you, you could suspect that if you now want to be double sure then you have to go to your to see your doctor and to diagnose this um your doctor would be able to do some evaluation for you so um they may suggest blood sample tests that can figure out what is happening um, such as the one that will check um, the levels of your follicle stimulating hormone fsh or LH, listenizing homo, check your progesterone level. And um, of course, a pelvic ultrasound would also help um, to see the thickness of your, of your lining. So your daughter will be able to at least um, cor correspond it or correlate it with that particular point of your cycle that, that you had to be able to see, to figure out, okay, that, okay. So uh, at this stage of your cycle, or your lining is supposed to be thicker than this. So what could be the issue? So you might want to probe for that and run all those other tests that I have mentioned above. In the past, um, doctors may also recommend series of endometrial biopsies. With this, they will be able to remove some, some small sample of the lining at a specific time of, your, of the month and examine it under microscope to see if you were in face. And by that, your, the thickness is what they are looking at 
uh, for. Oh, but please also keep in mind that every woman can have little face defects from one month of the cycle or the other, okay? Because even from my experience, some women, when they start their treatments, say this month, for instance, their lining might not respond and, you know, we have to do it again to look at um, the next month and check if um, the lining would respond. So how do you manage or how do you treat little face defects? How do you treat little face defects? Management is usually via progesterone supplementation and um, commonly provided during infertility treatments when you want to do, say, your IVF. And there are also three methods of therapy that has been utilized to manage uh, LPD, little face defects. One is controlled ovarian stimulation with clomiphene citrates, okay, or human menopausal gonadotropin to produce more than one follicle and therefore more than one corpus luteum. Then another method is supplementary HCG to so increase cupus luteum secretion of progesterone. And the last method is supplementation of progesterone after ovulation. So these are the management in place uh, when you want to do your treatment or and you know they will, you have to firstly go through all this phase to be able to help your lining to get to that measurement before the, your, your treatments would begin okay so thank you so much for watching today's episode of fertility talk with all around kate hadios for more inquiries please you can comment below for consultation kindly call the number showing on your screen and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and share this video if you like it and for more sponsorship as well you can also send us a dm or call the number showing on your screen mm -hmm.